Let's get to it. All right, YouTube, what's going on? Mesa fail, table Sean, whatever Sean, back at it with some destiny. All right, guys, tis arms day, so let's go in and take a look at the packages. So first off, if you're looking for a doctrine of spamming, which I have equipped with me right now, I've got mine with counterbalance. Uh, he's brought, he brought the Arminius D, which is kind of the uh, counterpart to it. But as you can see here with these rolls here, nothing for stability, but good perks. But let's go in and see if we can get some good stability out of this thing. So GA Post, I hate that site. SD Thermal, we got the Army of One, I like that perk. Range Finder, that's good on this weapon because this the range is terrible on this thing. Snapshot, uh, Speed Reload, and Small Bore. It's not bad. Uh, if you compare, let's see, what is, yeah, even with Small Bore, the stability is gonna be awful on this thing. All right, I see Glass Half Full and Hot Swap, right? Hot Swap, okay. Uh, GB Iron, eh, not too crazy. See, I love the Hollow site. That's my favorite Hake Auto Rifle site. All right, we got Hot Swap, we got Glass Half Full, we got Single Point Sling, Speed Reload, and Small Bore again. Kind of hoping for a braced frame or something for stability. Once again, ooh, Range Finder and Crowd Control. If we can get something for stability, it'd be, oh, I hate the GA post. Uh, we got LD Watchdog. Oh, let's see, Crowd Control, we got a Range Finder, and I bet it's Small Bore at the end, right? Ooh, hold on, Fitted Stock, yeah. Yeah, nothing really that crazy, guys. I would probably, well, you know what? If you don't have a Doctrine of Spamming, um, I'd pick any. I'd probably go with the one with, with the Range Finder and the Small Bore, but for the most part, I would hold on to this, guys. I'd wait another week. But if you disagree, let me know in the comment section. Which one of these would you have picked? I'm actually going to hold on to mine. Um, to be frank, I don't use my Doctrine of Spamming. I hate it. I hate people that use it. No, no offense. I hate being killed by it, okay? It's really annoying in the Crucible. Okay, next up we got the Soros ARI. I see unflinching, glass half full, and take a knee, right? Is it take it to the knee or take a knee? All right, we got the uh, SLO 19, 28, SPO 28, SRO 37. Let's see, high caliber rounds, casket mag, single point sling, small bore, and unflinching. Mm, not bad, not really feeling it right now. Let's go to the second one here. What do we got? Glass half full. I do like you, glass half full. We got fitted stock. I like that. And reinforced barrel, single point sling, oiled frame, glass half full. This is not bad actually. Let's see the sights: SLO 19, 20, XPO 26, SRO 37. Well, you put on fitted stock, you're gonna get a little bit more stability. Uh, you could go here for reinforced barrel, get most of more range, but reduce stability. Uh, does this really offset that? Not really. Not really feeling this one either, guys. Let's see. Uh, go best that again. And the last one is take a knee. Let's see, take a knee, we've got lightweight, reinforced barrel, fitted stock, casca mag. Um, yeah, guys, you know what? I'm not feeling any of these, actually. Um, I'm going to say, you know, I'm passing on these, all right? I'm actually just going to hold on to them. GLB42, we're looking for something with proximity. All right, I don't see anything with proximity. I see one with tracking, so we're going to look for that. In case you need something for PvE, okay? I like tracking on my PvE rocket launchers, but for uh, PvP, I have to have grenades and horseshoes. So let's just take a look at this one here. What do we got? We got Word of Veneers. All right, we're off to a good start. We got uh, Heavy Payload. Look at the blast radius on this thing. If you put Heavy Payload on. Flared Bagwell, tracking, uh, perfect balance, and quick draw. Uh, this is not bad. I'd say pick it up if you're looking for a PvE rocket launcher that's got a pretty big blast radius, a very slow rate of fire, and it's got tracking on it. If you need a rocket launcher, uh, you might want to pick this up. I'm pretty happy because I have the raid rocket launcher with tracking on it. So that's that's all I use in terms of rocket launchers for PvE. All right, let's go on to my other character and check out the other packages. Okay, doke, we are on my Huntress here, and let's take a look. We got a sniper rifle, which I am not about to pronounce, and we got a rocket launcher. Again, we're looking for tracking or proximity. So I see, ooh, one more tripod. We'll check that one out first. Well, at last, I'm sorry. Uh, JLB 47, uh, pretty big blast radius. Uh, rate of fire, very slow. We got word veneers. We got tracking, uh, single point sling, speed reload, javelin, and light. Right, you know, this is not bad for PvE. I wouldn't use it for PvP. You got tracking and you got javelin on it. You might want to pick that one up. Uh, this next one here. Final round, we don't care about that. Tripod, let's see if we got anything good. So we got tripod, three rockets. We got confined launch, linear compensator, and we got hard launch. So that's kind of the same thing as warhead veneers, actually. Uh, single point sling, speed reload, tripod, javelin, snapshot. You know, if you can mind tripod, javelin, that's not bad either. But I don't know, if you need a tracking one, 
I, but you know what? I like tracking on PV. I said that already. I would probably get this one here, so I'm just gonna grab that. I, I don't need one actually. I'm just getting it for legendary marks. Okay, not even gonna try to pronounce this thing. Oh, it's not a sniper. It's a shotgun. God, I'm terrible. I should do my homework, right? All right, we got CQB ballistics. Let's see. This one is very low range. Uh, wait, do I have a shotgun to compare it to? Hold on, let me pull up my character real quick. Do I have a shotgun on me? All right, yeah, let's compare it to my Conspiracy Theory D. All right, right off the bat, let's take a look. Whoa! Okay, this is a very high rate of fire. Low impact, low range. Okay, so, I see, uh, what do we got? Army of One? Okay. So you can be Ballistics. Uh, you can throw in Aggressive Ballistics for a little more impact. Army of One. Uh, feeding Frenzy. Kill this weapon, increase the reload speed for a short time. That's a good PvE perk. Uh, single point sling, perfect balance, and oil frame. Yeah, nothing for the, the range is, and impact is, is terrible on this thing. I would mainly look for something with the range and impact in that last column right there. Alright, last, uh, da -da 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 -da. why am I saying last? Alright, smooth ballistics, uh, accurized ballistic, a little bit more impact, a little hit on the range. Uh, close and or personal, nope. Battle runner, nope. Single point sling, fitted stock. The frame. You know, I, I make fun of Battle Runner, but I love it on my Telesto. <laughs> Whenever it kicks in, I'm like, whoa, my character's really, really fast. All right, is that uh, the sliding one yet? Yeah, knee pads. All right, uh, CQB Ballistics, Linear Compensate. Ooh, okay, Linear Compensate, a little more range, a little more impact. Can we do something more for that range and impact? We've got Army 1, knee pads. All right, so slide further when this weapon's equipped. So if you use Sliding Shotgun, you got t t Skating Titans. You love to slide and kill me with the shotguns. Lightweight. Fitted stock and ooh, you know what? If you combine a linear compensator, get a little bit more impact, a little more range. You got a rifle barrel, that's good. And you got knee pads. This actually wouldn't be bad for PvP, actually. Uh, Army of one, I like quick unassisted kills with this weapon, produce grenade and melee cooldown. That's I, I like that for PvE. You know what? I would go with this one if I was you guys. Yeah, this one here, linear compensator. Throw on uh, rifle barrel. Yeah. I'd go with this one. This one's going to be a spammable one, so. Anyway, that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, oh, wait. Let me see. Was there one more there? Hold on. I don't want to mace fell through this thing. You know, I do these live. It's 5, 12 a.m. Is there something else there? No, that's it. Oh, let's look at next. Uh, oh, DIS-43. Buy it. Buy the DIS-43. That is my absolute favorite. DIS-43 and 47. I got perfect. I got uh, max stability and full auto on both the 47 and 43. Buy it and wait for him to bring it. He will bring it eventually. The God will, I mean. Uh, the Live Miller, that's the uh, Pulse Rifle, that's very, very high impact, low rate of fire. You might want to get that. PDX-41, I don't... The 45 is what I love. I don't I don't even recall what the 41 was. Okay. GLB-42, so similar rocket launcher, well, same rocket launcher from today. And the Tamar D, what is that, Sniper Rifle? Not really familiar with it. Uh, must buy DIS-43, and make sure you buy it, okay? Anyway, that's it, guys. Drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter, at Mechon. Check out my stream. A link will be in the description. And that's it. I'm out of here, like Vladimir.